so um, what what we see from all the experience we gained uh, from from all the case studies in the in the report from the old discussions and the, all the outcomes of the report uh, we can tell that uh, with governance with better information systems with technology uh, with uh, with we at least having a good system globally to standardize the understanding of drought to 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 have a good capacity building uh, to build, build build better dialogue globally uh, for understanding of drought and act how to act uh, with drought uh, to to support uh, regional uh, centers to support national centers support strategies action plans to policies that all those could be uh, and that's what we described in the report, could be a, go a good uh, support for building resilience and also uh, choosing the right pathways all the time between decision makers and uh, having multi-stakeholders participation in dialogues, in the process, all the process levels, in all steps uh, that with all multi-stakeholders with decision in missed decision makers in all multi stakeholders levels and with all the better information gained with early warning systems and, and knowledge and innovation and uh, governance and good finance system more sustainable finance system with investment with insurance with uh, safety networks with social supports uh, we will reduce social vulnerability we can build a better filter of resilience to reduce the impacts of the, this external uh, pressure uh, coming from climate change and drought in specific, uh, which is a very complex phenomenon to us. And uh, we have seen that its impacts is wide uh, and uh, affecting all the globe, not in a specific area, but it is now globally seen, recognized. Can, the, can we have a collapse of civilization now with technology? We have. Okay, I would say in some communities, displace, huge displacement can happen. And I can say also that if we have drought expansion and more severe droughts, the number of population in need for humanitarian aid will increase. And maybe our infrastructure, our institution capacities uh, are not ready to cope with such numbers. So then we have a crisis. Now, now we should understand, it is not just about the situation we see now, which is a, not a, a good situation in many places and people are suffering for mega droughts in many places, but also about the, the, the drought is, severity is increasing and the more we are close to two degrees or even more than two degrees to three degrees, that means the severity of the drought will increase. And that means maybe we are not ready with whatever technology we have, with whatever uh, um, production we have to cope with this. In many places we can reach, sometimes we don't have sufficient infrastructure or institutions ready that we can support. Uh, all affected uh, communities. So this is the challenges we have, and this is the way we have to act. And uh, we have to act together. Uh, we have to act in partnership. We have to use all the opportunities we have. And uh, if we are missing the opportunity of having a report like this, talking to everyone globally, discussing the subject openly, and uh, bringing the problem in front of decision makers to take decisions, if we miss such opportunities uh, of having SDGs on, uh, agreed upon, uh, we have climate agreement, we have Sendai framework. If we are missing having all those uh, um, uh, uh, strategies and actions, I, I believe we are losing the moment. And that's why uh, drought for us and the report for us uh, is very important.
it's it's a it's describing drought from different angles as a silent killer sometimes it's describing drought as um, um a uh, slow onset that we don't sometimes recognize its impacts, but sometimes the effect is coming and uh, acting and really changing uh, the communities so fast that we can't cope with those uh, impacts and we can't we can't really find solutions. What to do now? So um, understanding. Understanding uh, drought uh, complexity uh, is one of the major gains of this report. Second, what to do uh, as a main title for a chapter describing uh, how to act in different levels, uh, how to, to select a real uh, right pathway by the, by, by the dialogue with multi-stakeholders, uh, how the, uh, the decision makers in many levels should really contribute to, to, to act uh, using the different opportunities and also the coherence between the different agendas we have, Sendai uh, Climate Agreement and also SDGs. Uh, how to, to understand the importance of sustainable finance, uh, not only uh, from one dimension, but uh, money is not really the solution. Uh, it could be a reason for wrong decisions sometimes if we use it wrongly. But at least if you know where to invest and uh, how to engage private sector in the right direction sometimes, uh, how to engage a decision maker from banking and, uh, and also um, uh, governments in the safety nets uh, and the social supports, uh, how they can use social protection. Um, plus, of course, the insurance systems, which we need really to improve it more and uh, take into consideration the direct and the indirect impacts. And this is one of the elements that should be recognized uh, in, and the report is focusing on that dimension. Many, many countries has recognized that, um, social, that uh, climate security became an, an issue. And the climate security uh, due to the weak socioeconomic and social vulnerabilities in many places could turn to be, uh, take the shape of violent and can take a shape of conflict and can, can really increase uh, displacement and migration. And that really can affect the stability, not only of the community, affected community, but also surrounding communities. And this has been seen uh, in many examples. And, uh, and again, uh, I would say uh, drought, drought um, if, we, if we really uh, can have this global uh, mechanism, to act, to at least uh, put the subject in more global understanding, that will make a big difference because it will help the national level to, to build better strategies and uh, action plans, to build sharing, build global dialogues, and the decision makers should be involved really in such dialogues to know how to, that drought is a real threat and can threat our future. And as we said in the beginning, many, many civilization has been collapsed, collapsed in the past. So it's, maybe it's not going to happen the same way, but also we have to keep in our minds that in many places, people are leaving their communities because they cannot support their living anymore. So it really has a, a big threat in livelihood in many places, especially fragile communities. Uh, work in more uh, nexus approach. Uh, try, try to 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 see um, not not what you ha we have under our legs now, but also look more to the future. If the phenomena is increasing in the future, and if if now we can't cope in many places with this phenomena, and we have seen different communities has been already uh, affected. So what about the future? 
So if now we see um, that it is not just about food and water anymore, but it's energy is in the subject now, social vulnerability and stability of communities in the subject now, need for uh, finance system is in the subject now. So we have to we have to think more integrated, and uh, we have to to build our perspective for the future uh, about acting with drought. We have to see also not only see drought separately, but we have to see drought with land degradation as well. The combined impact of uh, land degradation and drought together in many countries where they, they can't still now manage their resources in a good way will affect their stability and create a huge migration uh, waves. And this is by itself is a big threat for the stability of uh, peace peace for the globe and also uh, for the secure, global security. So we have, to, we have to look to the subject um, with better understanding for the different dimensions and different impacts that maybe we can see it now clearly, but at least uh, we can expect uh, the scenarios for the future. And we should act now to reduce the effect of those scenarios in, in, the, in our future uh, stability. It's, it's yep. not about poor communities, it's not about rich communities. It's about the whole globe. So no, no country is far from the effect of the drought. We can see the fires in California, we can see the water stress increasing in many places in USA, we can see in Europe, the needs for energy now became a major issue due to the drought impacts on the uh, water flow and uh, uh, the melt of the snow it change our uh, style of living it change uh, the way we used to live so the, the change is huge and uh, if if really affected even poor countries the number of displacement the number of internal or external uh, the number of migration all all those no one is isolated and no one has a complete uh, protection. So everyone is a subject now because we are sharing a lot of resources together, especially water, and we are sharing the globe. Uh, we are all uh, humankind and we are all living in the same uh, planet. So uh, this is maybe uh, a major issue that, that everyone keep in mind that the message about drought is not for certain uh, levels of, of, of people or countries, it's for everyone. <laughs>